first you have to have the right foot and it's the one that comes with the brother sewing machine he240 and it's the letter m and it's this one right here it doesn't want to come up okay <laughs> it did here it is this is the letter m and this is what we're going to be using lift bring down and it's ready the next step is to look in the back of the machine and now the third step is to find the correct stitches for sewing the button and according to the manual the stitch number is 61 as you can see here, the one highlighted is number one, the number change is number two, and you can go all the way until you find 61, but it's a long way. What I do is I go backwards, and when I highlight this, I know that's number 67. Continue going back, and there it is, 61. That's the one that I need. Now... Here you can see that it automatically comes up with the distance for, or I should say the measurement between the uh, buttonholes. And this can be changed by using the slider. Now it's a bigger distance and there is the smaller distance. By slightly moving the slider, I can see that the needle is not going to have any problems going up and down. And I think it's going to do a good job because it's do sewing at the distance where the buttonholes are. And let me see, the number is 3.5 millimeters. Okay, now that I'm sure that the needle is not going to break, I'm ready to sew. I'm going to remember to have a long thread, so at the end I will have enough is uh, enough thread to make a knot make sure the needle is centered with this line and that the buttons I'm um, sorry that the needle is not hitting any edge of the button then you are ready to go raise the needle and we are done with this Make a little nut, trim, and it's done. Ta da! My buttons are done. And I was so afraid of using the machine for this. But I guess I was just thinking too much about it because it turned out to be more easy than I thought. Okay. I feel so accomplished today because. I was able to do this and the buttonholes without a problem. I previously made a video on how to make the buttonholes and it's also very easy. So look for my video on how to make this so you can make your own projects and feel so proud about it. <gasps> so let me see how it looks. Seems like it worked. I'm a big girl now. I can make my own sweaters. That's what I learned today.